Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, come here baby. Today I am going to talk about the things that I love the most in this world and that is my furry babies. So, <laughs> so I have two standard poodles and I am the stepmom of this beautiful Vino, Vino, Vino. You wanna get some camera time? There you are! We rescued him from Tijuana. Uh, my Clemente and Cleopatra, let me show you her. This is my little Cleopatra. She is six months. She's a deep caramel color. Today, I'm going to focus in my standard poodles and tell you all the information that I wish I knew before I got them. And I am going to tell you my top five products that I take everywhere I go. I'm actually house sitting right now and I have them with me and I think that speaks volume about how much I love these products because everywhere I take my babies I take this product so first I want to say yes I know that there's so much judgment behind getting a pure breed because there is so many beautiful babies out there that need a loving home and there's a lot of breeders out there that are highly irresponsible and only care about the money and not the well-being of the puppies also it is possible to adopt standard poodles i was on the wait list for almost two years in different sources that i'm going to link down below the only reason why i couldn't get one was that i was a first-time owner and i lived in an apartment and those are two things that are not ideal if you want to get a large breed like this one because they require a lot of exercise they are highly intelligent and dogs like that you want to keep them disciplined and highly motivated every day in order for them to be happy and i knew that i could devote all the time that they need it but the adoption place didn't know that so first give adoption a try and then if that doesn't work then you can go to a breeder just make sure to do your homework know that that breeder is very responsible that cares for the well-being of their puppies Clemente came from a home that they were actually not able to get rid of him because he was so shy he was afraid of other dogs and afraid of other people but now he's the most loving, loves dogs and loves people. So that just tells you that it is not the dog's fault. It is always our fault. I wholeheartedly believe that. And Cleo did come from a breather. Till this day, we still go back and forth. If I have any questions, she is a fountain of knowledge. And I can definitely tell that she has nothing but love for this breed. I thought that if I didn't get a specific breed that I highly connected to, I wouldn't be a good parent. But after getting Vino Wino, oh. Oh, he's my little lover and after spending so much time with him I can honestly tell you that it doesn't matter what breed what size what color I'm going to love any dog as much as I can but I am very proud of my journey that's why I have no judgment getting a puppy is such an intimate beautiful process that we should all be respectful towards okay my hero product this is amazing for potty training your dog is clearly going to make a lot of mistakes. The tricky thing about that is that they have such a sensitive sense of smell that they're going to keep going to the same place and recognize that as their putty place. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of hitting a wall until I discovered this product. What it is, it's an enzyme cleaner. So it really removes every trace of smell from the pee pee or poo poo and they won't make the same mistake in the same place it has amazing reviews on amazon i'm gonna link it down below my house doesn't smell like pee thanks to this so thank you very much rocco and roxy this by the way this is not sponsored clearly i only have 90 followers so nothing is sponsored <laughs> Okay, the book that I purchased before getting Clemente, it's called Training the Best Dog Ever, a five-week program using the power of positive reinforcement. And this is so helpful, especially if you are a first-time parent. Sit down, sit. It tells you everything that you need. It gives you a very detailed plan for the first five weeks your puppy comes into your home. And not necessarily a puppy, it can also be an older dog, but it gives you step to step what to do because I have no idea. I mean, I barely know how humans communicate, let alone would I know how dogs communicate. I don't, I don't. I wish I knew. I wish I could talk to my dogs for one day just to know what they're feeling, thinking. Anyways, that's another story. If you are more of a visual learner, there is this amazing YouTube channel. It's called Zach George Dog Training Revolution. He is amazing. He also uses positive reinforcement method and it's so much easier sometimes to see how they actually train them instead of just reading about it i found that extremely helpful okay my next product that is uh, great when you're training it's the easy walk what this is standard poodles are very strong clemente is almost 70 pounds 
Which is your name? It's definitely the largest standard poodle that I've known. And he's strong. So if he sees anything exciting, a squirrel, another dog, another person, uh, he will run for it and I will fall on my face until I discovered the easy walk. Basically what this does is if they pull, this top part kind of closes their legs a little so they know they're gonna lose balance if they keep going so they stop themselves. And I just thought this was a little bit more humane than the choking color, the training color. I didn't have the heart to use it. I know a lot of people say they're a magnificent tool but I just, I don't know. So this next product is very specific to poodles. Well, all dogs get ear infections but Poodles get tons of ear infections, golden doodles, labradoodles, standard poodles, because they have such fluffy ears that humidity is easy to build up and yeast and bacteria loves humidity. Clemente, I thought had a chronic ear infection because I couldn't get rid of it. We were going to the vet. Every vet visit is so expensive until I found this product. All right, it's called Pet MD Ear Wipes. And this is what they look like. If you wipe their ears on the outside part only twice a week, it keeps the ear infections at bay. It's very easy to tell if your dogs have an infection. Just lift the ear, lift the ear up, and you're going to smell that yeasty, acidic smell. You have to make sure that their ears are clean. You have to make sure that they're dry. I'm so excited about because buying treats for your babies can be so expensive. This one, marrow bones. This one is empty, so he's not overly excited. Come do you want it? Yeah, he'll take it regardless. <laughs> I get them at Ralph's. They're seven dollars for four of them. I give it to them raw, and they love it. And he gets distracted on it for hours. Also, you can get it at tail waggers. In tail waggers, they're more expensive because it makes sure it's salmonella free and free range meat. It doesn't splinter. I've had no accidents with it. Knock on wood. It's her favorite treat. It's not expensive. It's healthy. It actually helps with their teeth because they keep biting on the bone. So it's amazing. It's great. Go get one. Okay, one other thing. And guys, this is probably the most important thing that you can take away from this video. Please, please, please get insurance. For a large breed, it is going to be expensive. The cheapest and best one I found is Healthy Paws. I pay $45 a month per dog. $45 for Clemente, $45 for Cleopatra, and it is a lifesaver. Clemente, we had an accident a couple months ago and he was in the hospital for three days. And this is traumatizing. I didn't know this, guys, but let's say, I hope it never happens to you, but let's say an accident happens and you go to the emergency animal hospital. If you don't have enough money for the deposit of the projection that they're going to spend on the treatment of your baby they won't be able to help him i was traumatized i didn't know this was a thing apparently most emergency hospitals if you don't have enough money for the deposit they cannot help you and in my case the deposit for clemente was five thousand dollars thankfully i have insurance and i have good credit that i was able to take care of that right away and they were able to help them just give yourself peace of mind and get insurance anyways thank you so much for watching guys i will honestly tell you that my babies are the best decision i've ever made in my life it's crazy because clemente came to me in the most difficult time of my life and i didn't understand it's like oh why if i'm not doing so great i want to take care of someone and a good friend pointed out it's like no mariana you actually needed someone to take care of you she was so right they honestly open up your heart to so much love and joy they are a huge responsibility they're a life commitment so yes it is something that you should definitely take the time and do the math and see if you can do it but if you decide to go for it you'll never regret it they are the best thing they truly are and i'm so grateful to them thank you my amor can i have a kiss Life is Just, a winding a road. don't forget to subscribe to hit the notification bell to like this video thank you guys for watching and have a beautiful 2020 all right bye guys ah. won't stop for traffic light oh, who's that clemente